What's up friends, it's Ben, and I wanted to uh, show you this cool game that uh, is called the Thunder Stick Challenge, or honestly, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it is a stick with a string and a wiffle ball on the end of it. Um, I used to call this the helicopter rope, but then uh, actually JD Hughes, um, I saw him calling it the Thunder Stick Challenge. And that sounded way cooler than helicopter. So I started calling it the Thunder Stick Challenge, that's what I call it now. Um, and I have a smaller one that I use as a station for kindergarten and second grade. The basic idea is that you'll have the kids either circle up or line up. I always have them just stand on the corner of one of my four square courts in the gym and you spin the rope around your back or you can jump it with the kids and then the rope goes around and they try to jump over it. So it's a way for them to practice jumping without having to focus on turning the rope their hands. Uh, kindergarten through fifth grade, all of my kids love playing the game. Um, one thing that we do is if it hits your foot, they'll go and hula hoop until um, everybody is out and then they'll come back in after there's a winner. So at a station with kindergarten or first or second, usually I'm doing this with uh, anywhere from five to seven kids, depending on how big your class sizes are. And if you have enough time, you might be able to teach your kids to do this responsibly. The main thing is you want to keep the tip pointed at the ground and the kids will probably be spinning around in a circle instead of being able to actually turn it with their hands around their back. Um, most kids are not going to be able to do that. And then I also have another one that is a little bit longer that I custom made with a uh, double dutch rope. So then I can actually do this with a whole class of about 25 kids and I do that with third through fifth. And we'll do that as a warm up. I'll put them on the center square in our gym. You do it on a center circle. And I'll just spin the rope around. The whole class starts, they jump over it. If it hits their foot, then they'll either go get a jump rope or they'll go and do uh, walking and jogging lines around the gym. And we just play for two or three minutes. Uh, and then we, after, you know, that's our instant activity for the day. So then we'll get into the lesson after that. It's just a fun thing uh, that you can try out if you would like. You can make your own or you can uh, look them up at your favorite equipment retailer. The Thunderstick Challenge. Hope you can use that idea. I have seen, one more note, I have seen people do it with just a jump rope and they, they spin it around their back like you tie a deck ring to the end of it and spin it around. Um, so you can try that. I like having the stick because the stick, uh, you can put it on the ground and actually uh, keep the rope from getting too high or keep the uh, rope from getting too high in the air and hitting people's knees or hitting people in the face. Um, so you want to make sure you are uh, playing it in a safe way, especially if you have a student turning the rope. You want to make sure they keep that stick on the ground. I hope that is helpful. It's a fun game. Check it out. Have fun and teach on. Later, guys.